Hey everybody, it's Adrian, aka No Sense Frags. Um, you gotta forgive me. I am. Um, this is a tough video for me to do, and it's tough because I joined the fragrance community because I saw a lot of the camaraderie and the good people, <clears throat> and I, I've actually met a lot of good people. Um. And I'm not going to name him in this video because I might piss some people off with this video. But that's not my intent. So, I went away to Detroit for a couple of weeks. And I come back. And I see... A bunch of negativity going on in the fragrance community. You know, the PC part of me, which is very, very little, very, very little, said, well, stay out of it. I got glare on my glass. You got to forgive me. I'm trying to figure this out. That's the season. Man, hell. The hell with it. So, but the un-PC part of me won't let me keep quiet. And um, I feel like I need to address it myself. And the reason why I feel like I need to address it is because people are getting way out of hand with the comments and the content that they're putting up. Now, I personally was always raised and taught to stay in your lane, pay attention to what you're doing, and don't worry about what everybody else is doing. And I think that's a good uh, philosophy to live by. And I say that to say this. It's a YouTuber <coughs> who's a fragrance reviewer, and I guess he's getting a little too many views for people. And if that's what he, you know, how he gets his views and subscribers... You know, that's him. At the end of the day, we have our own channels and, you know, what we do with them is our personal business. You know, and I saw another YouTuber and both, well, this particular YouTuber has been in the game for a good little minute. And what kind of, kind of set me off was that this one particular YouTuber, I guess he had issues or problems with this other YouTuber, and I get it, you know, but my thing is, if I have an issue or problem with you, it's either we're going to talk about it, or I'm going to leave you alone, it's just that simple, ain't no in between, but this other YouTuber decided he wanted to go on another website and check the analytics of the other YouTuber, now, my question to you is, what are you doing with your time that you got to go and look up what else somebody what somebody else is doing what you need to do is focus on your channel and your brand if you want to get that star status um subscriber ship whatever then you need to find out what you can do to make your you know what you can do for your channel to grow you know at the end of the day this is just it's, it's scented water people you know, and, and when you get to the point to where you got to look up what somebody else is doing, at that point, at that point, you're hating. And you're hating because you don't agree with or you don't, you, you jealous of what someone else is doing. You know, if this causes me to lose subscribers, hey, it is what it is. But when you got to go out of your way and you got to go research what somebody else is doing, and then you need to check your manhood. You need to check your uh, your fortitude. Because you, if you got to get to doing all that, you a hater. You're a hater. You know, so what? You had one or two bad dealings with him. Leave him the fuck alone. Excuse my language. Leave him alone. Then I see another guy putting up a bunch of other videos. Dude, that man found a niche. He found his lane. He riding it. However he go about riding it, he riding it. 
And what you need to do is find out how to find your lane and you need to ride it. You know, this is going to be the first and the last video that I make like this. So all I'm simply saying is this. If you're going to review, or whatever you do with your channel is your business. But concentrate and focus on your channel. Yes, there are other YouTubers that I look at. Yes, there are other phrase reviewers. And I like them not because I want their content. I like it because I like them as individuals. I like their, yeah, I like their content. But I like what they have to say. I like their, their, their reviews. They motivate me. But I'm not going to sit here and get to the point. Well, such and such got 40 million freaking views and 20,000 subscribers. Kudos to him. You know, and I'll be honest. And this is just my personal opinion. The person that went to go look up the other people. Dude, your channel... It's kind of boring. You know, it's nothing exciting. It's nothing that makes people want to watch your videos. Not hating, just telling the truth. For for it's to me, it's boring. To me. I hardly even watch your channel anymore. And the only reason why I watched that particular video is because it showed up in one of the forums that I'm involved with on Facebook. Do I watch the other guy's video? Yeah. Why? Because they're entertaining. And which brings me to this other point. Somebody made the comment, I can't believe this particular person is using fragrances to get girls. Uh, hello, that's why we as men want to smell good. Why do you think there's so many panty dropper videos out here? Why do you think there's so many most complimented by ladies videos? Like, come on, let's be realistic. We as men, we want to look good, we want to smell good. In order to, you know, attract females, you know, some guys, you know, I ain't, I'm not even gonna touch that subject. But at the end of the day, that's why we do it. I don't want to smell good for another man. I'm sorry, I don't, and I'm not. So, one, stay in your lane, ride it out. Two, mind your business. Don't worry about what somebody else doing. If you got that much time worrying about somebody else doing, you lacking somewhere in your life. Because I guarantee you, you probably got families. You probably got wives. You know, and I'm pretty sure your wife is going, why is my husband worrying about what another man is doing? Food for thought. You know, and then three, my mom always told me, well, actually my mom and my dad, if you don't have nothing nice to say about somebody, then don't say nothing at all. You make yourself look stupid when you do that. And this is not me trying to hate. This is me trying to give you guys some advice. You know, because, I mean, this, this shit is crazy. This is really crazy. You know, I do my videos because for me it's therapy. It is therapy for me. I do my videos because, you know, I want people... To, to listen to my opinion. And I also want people to give me their opinion. You know, if you if you look at my track record, I um, I try to answer everybody. I mean, if I, if I miss one or two, please forgive me. I'm a very busy individual. But I try to get everybody, you know, I try to comment. When people make suggestions, whether you believe it or not, I actually do. I, if, I, if I have the money to go out and get what you, su you suggest to me, I try to get it. I'm not, I'm not going to say I go out and get every last single one, but for me, it has to make sense. If you're telling me to go try out uh, Clive Christensen's um, and it costs $20,000, well, obviously, I'm not going to get that one. But if you have something that's in the, in the price range that I can afford, you know, I'll try it. So all I'm simply saying is this. I joined this for the camaraderie. I joined it for the hobby that we all share. But if it's going to get to the point to where people sitting out here researching people's analytics and questioning how people get views, subscribers, and all the other, you know, I, 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 gotta, I got other things that I like to do. And personally, I will delete you. I don't, I don't believe in blocking unless you get to talking sideways. You know, 
and I went, and here's the killer part about it. The person who put the video up when I went to, because at first I wasn't going to comment because I was kind of worried about the backlash, but I'm from Detroit. We don't give a crap about backlash. I went to go, con I, I, I thought about it for a day. I gave myself 24 hours to really think about it. And I went to go back and comment, and he cut the comment section off. Why would you do that? You know, and to the other person, I see you. I ain't got no problems with you, big dog. I'm proud of you. Do what you're doing. You're building your brand. You're building, I, I would think that you're building your company. But you're doing a hell of a job. Keep it up. So, people, put things in perspective. You know, find something that works for you. Find your niche. Find your lane. But with me, I got th like 647 subscribers, I think. And I love all 647 of them. And whether you believe it or not, I keep, every time I get a new subscriber, I keep the email. And I look at those emails on a day-to-day -day basis. And it just makes me smile because it's somebody in this world who listens to me and, and values my opinion. And I'm going to try to keep it, well, I'm not going not gonna to try. I'm going to keep it 100% with you guys. Some things you might not like to hear, but hey. I can't please everybody all the time, but I have you all in mind when um, I do my videos. So, having said that, I talk enough. Um, like I said, I didn't really want to make this video, but hey. Now, I don't have a problem with having a conversation. I don't. But if you're going to be disrespectful, if you're going to be ignorant, if you're going to be rude... Or any of those things is negative, please don't comment because I will delete you and I will block you. I promise you I will. I have no problem with doing it. So, other than that, I'm going to have some reviews coming up. I'm trying to figure out what I want to review for you. You know, matter of fact, fall's going to come up. I need my true fans. My true, true fans. Please leave a comment below on the top five fall fragrances you want to do, you want me to do a review on. And I'm also thinking about doing a winter giveaway in appreciation to my fans. It won't be nothing extravagant. I can't afford nothing like that, but it'll be something decent or something nice. So two things. One, tell me what you think I should give away for the winter fragrance giveaway and how to do it because I've never done it before. Number two, I need the, the top five fall fragrances you want me to do a review on. And I'm going to add, I'm going to tally them all up. And whichever one gets to, whichever one y'all pick the most is the one I'll do. Um, and that's it. Like I always said at the end of my videos, be kind to one another. It's very important. The world needs more love. And I'm going to leave it with one saying. What you eat don't make me shit. And what I eat don't make you shit. Stay in your lane. Focus on you. Be the best you you can be. And if you don't like a person, hey, it takes more energy for you to talk crap and make videos than it do to say, you know what? That's not my cup of tea and keep it moving. Like I said, I'm not trying to bad mouth or bash anybody, but people, we got to keep this perspective. Do what you do. I do what I do. We respect one another. We golden. Anyway, that's my time. I'm sorry for such a long video. I love you guys.